Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. So today we're doing a speed build, um, something a little bit different. This is actually going to be for someone here on YouTube, it's for their leprosy. Um, I don't know if you know them, you should do. Please go check them out. This is not a collab or anything, I just approached her, um, Josie, here on YouTube. I will put all their socials and links all in the description because if you haven't seen any of their stuff what are you doing go check them out um so this is going to be for tobias because he's for the next gen so this house only has um base game and world adventures so once again it's kind of like a base game plus build um but the only thing is i haven't furnished it so it is completely unfurnished the download link is in the description if you want this house and you want to furnish it yourself feel free um but Josie is an amazing amazing decorator like all of her builds are incredible um and so she's going to be furnishing it for her family and everything like that but yeah the only thing that she asked for was for it to be three bedrooms and she said kind of like a townhome style which I know this isn't but it was the closest I could do because obviously I haven't got um like late night so I haven't got apartments so I can't like do the houses join in which I would have loved to have done um and I did do that to begin with like when I was just like messing around trying to figure out what I wanted to do but this is what we come up with and she liked it so <laughs> I think we're in the clear um so yeah as you can see it's this brown color this does not stay don't worry guys I did not like it whatsoever so I literally just stripped it all right back and I went off camera and I was like trying to figure out what I wanted to do and then I turned the camera back on and I was like I know what I want to do and yeah so as you can see I took it all off I was like I don't like it um so there yeah this is like what it's going to turn out like so on the side here well, there is the garage and at the back it's kind of different because it's kind of split level so at the back behind the garage there is a dip down area it is only one step up so it's not not like you, your sims have got to go up three steps to get down there and I'm not 100% sure what Josie's going to put it as um, but I just imagined it could be a dining room, it could be another entertainment area, it's just another place for the sims to be able to go but yeah that's what I had in mind but yeah this is three bed, three bath, I can't remember if I said that already, it's built on a 30 by 20 lot I can't remember how much it costs. I think it's about 39,000 um, and some odd simoleons. If I remember, I'll pop it on screen for you. Um, but yeah, it's quite cheap really. And I think that needs to be for this next generation of hers. I love her family so much. The Knights, you need to go check them out. I'm just gonna keep plugging her because you need to go check her out if you don't already. Um, I uh, like binge watch that episode every time it comes out I'm on it I'm, I'm watching it so yeah um I don't really know what else to say about this house to be honest it has as I said three bed three bath it's built on 30 to 20 yeah there's really not much to say um I have included the floor plan at pictures at the very end if you're curious because I can't remember if I did I think I did the floor plan on camera did I I don't know I was rambling so maybe I did maybe I didn't but you can see that dip down at the back so at the front here you come into like an entryway hallway area whatever you want to call it and then it comes into sorry about the little skip here guys <laughs> my son started screaming so I just had to go see him so I do apologize for the like jump cut but this is mum life and we just have to go with it go with the flow so as I was saying you come in and you've got the entryway and then you come into what I'm gonna class as like a living area it's not very big but it's got a nice fireplace and then it's got like a half bath or you can use it as a full bath I've I think I've classed it as a full bath because it is a two by three wide and um, so you can fit everything in there and then up you go um into like a kitchen area and there is space for like a little like a four seater table as you can see just in like like little nooky area that's bumped out and then you go down into what I said could be a dining room or it could be a l another little entertainment area I did have to use the by bug lights in both of those areas as in the dip downs so th this bit here and the garage wow blanked 
um, and then you got upstairs, you got a nice little hallway. I couldn't put any windows into that area just because of where the roofing was. So you will need quite a bit of lighting in there. And then you've got the three bedrooms and the two baths upstairs. One is an ensuite to the master. So yeah, I think that's quite nice. And then out in the garden, you've just got nice flower beds. Again, this isn't very long at all. Um, just because it really didn't take me very long to do. I think it took me about an hour. That doesn't take into consideration the me messing around before actually recording. And yeah, but yeah, I really love how it's turned out. So please do stick around for the screenshots just to have a quick look at it. And yeah, I appreciate every single one of you that is watching my videos. I appreciate you all so, so much. And I'm gonna love you and leave you because there's really not much else to say. So yeah. I love you, leave you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.